And uh, welcome back to Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement, here with Bob Richardson. He is the director of Canada Soccer. Bob, uh, obviously, uh, just harking back uh, to the last FIFA World Cup, uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about sort of the impacts of that. Canada being present, obviously, uh, uh, as one of the initial participants in that World Cup. Uh, what, are the, what are the impacts on sport uh, generally and specifically on soccer? Well, it was a huge impact. It was the first time in 35 years that Canada made the or earned the earned the right to be in the World Cup. So that was a big thing for our men's national team. And they had a grueling path to get there. I think it was 14 or 15 different matches. Uh, many people didn't think that they would make it and they did. So that was uh, that was very encouraging. It really puts the spotlight on the sport, and uh, and it generates a lot of interest in fans. You know, millions of people were up early in the morning watching uh, games in uh, Qatar. Uh, so so that's that's obviously helpful when you're building uh, interest in a sport and fan uh, fan base, and and also uh, interest in the players too as well. So it was uh, very successful. We would have uh, obviously, like like the players, wish that they had gone on to the next uh, uh, the next stage. But uh, I, given everything uh, that was going on, that I, I, they played tremendously well. And two of the three teams they uh, played against end up being uh, uh, two of the strongest teams at the entire World Cup. So that's sometimes the luck of the draw. Yeah, exactly. Do you are you able to track like uh, obviously you've got uh, ratings and that kind of thing, uh, but uh, was there a, a spurt in uh, enrollment in soccer programs, for instance, for girls and boys, or or is that kind of uh, left to happenstance? Well, enrollment was way up. Now it's also post pandemic too, as well. Right. But enrollment was way, way up. Uh, sales of merchandise was up. Uh, you know, uh, eyeballs uh, during broadcast was way up. So there were a variety of different things. So there was definitely a, a focus, definitely an increase in the number of people uh, uh, focused on the issue of soccer. And I suspect that will be the case for the next uh, couple of years. Yeah. And I've noticed that uh, just uh, anecdotally, perhaps uh, with uh, the Toronto Football Club, like uh, it just seems like every year they, they their fan base expands and they're quite boisterous and and they're totally into their team. Have you noticed that as well? I was at the opening game on Saturday night, and uh, it was a cold one in March. Yeah. And I'm sure there were still 25,000 people out. And, uh, you know, boisterous as ever, particularly in the end zone. Uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, there's a really good fan base there. And that's that's something certainly to build off of here in this city. Now, I do, I do want to ask this. I don't know how much you can say about it, but there's been a bit of controversy over pay scales between the men and women. Uh, do, you, do you see that being resolved in some way? Yeah, I, uh, look, uh, I think so. I'm, uh, I, as I say, merely a member of the board of directors, so I will leave it to others to negotiate and talk about that in, uh, in, in more detail. But look, uh, we certainly want to come to a, a final agreement. We have an interim agreement with the women's team. Uh, we're having discussions with the men's team. Uh, this, by the way, is going on in a lot of countries around the world right now. Uh, so we're uh, we're not the only ones. But uh, this is an important thing for us to get done. Uh, equity is an important issue to address. Uh, our women have led this program, you know, for France frankly, decades and, and des deserve to be treated in an appropriate fashion. And that's something that we're going to uh, make sure happens. Uh, sometimes, you know, you you can have some heated words and, and uh, tough negotiations during a labor negotiation that happens. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, I think uh, we'll have a good uh, agreement, uh, good for soccer, uh, good for the women's national team and good for the men's national team. Yeah, let's talk a, a second about women's soccer too, because that that's really been a success story in Canada, hasn't it? Huge success. Uh, we uh, we of course uh, won the Olympic medal uh, last year. We've won two bronze before that. We're, we'll be competing in the Women's World Cup upcoming this year in Australia and in New Zealand. Very strong, uh, very strong team. Uh, a number of experienced players back. Number of great new players that are now playing in Europe, and a terrific coach. Uh, uh, 
uh, as well. So uh, yeah, so we're in uh, we're in good shape. Uh, lots of work still to do there, but uh, it'll be highly competitive. But uh, our uh, our women are right in the mix on that one. That's great to hear. We're speaking with Bob Richardson. He's a director of Canada Soccer uh, on the board of directors. We're going to take another brief break. We'll be back after these messages.